Good evening and welcome to MTV News Update for today, Monday, February 26, 2018. In the news tonight, child battling for her life after being hit by a speeding car. Television broadcast licenses to be granted in March. If Gawu is not involved, workers will not return to the estates. An engorged man released on $200,000 bail after being charged for raping a six-year-old child. With the details of these and other stories, I'm Ashley Scotland. Thank you for joining us. Now for the news in details. A child is now left battling for her life after an alleged speeding car canoed into her in Parfait Harmony. The driver involved in the accident fled the scene, leaving the girl helpless and injured on the road. Nicole Jondu opens tonight's newscast. 12-year-old Maharani Budram of Lot 2250, Parfait Harmony, West Bank, Demerara, is battling for her life. The child was allegedly knocked down by a speeding driver on Sunday afternoon. The accident took place on a lonely stretch of the road in Parfit Harmony. A relative of the child said Budram was returning from a nearby shop when the accident occurred. So we just picked her up and we took her to Bell's Hospital. Uh, she was actually panting for breath. She wasn't speaking anything but as you could see that she was trying to breathe and as she was breathing, you could see the, the ears, everything, the blood was bubbling in her ears and stuff. So we took her there and they, they tried to stabilize her there and actually wrap her legs around and stuff because her, like they said her, uh, her left side from hip down is broken. So they tried to wrap her up and stabilize her and they, uh, they took her with the ambulance to Georgetown. The relative said the driver of the vehicle is well known in the area, however, the man failed to render assistance. The man said when he was trying to get a vehicle to transport the child to the West Demerara Regional Hospital, the driver fled the scene. So I saw the driver was there. And I mean, he know me, right? I know him personally because I traveled with him a lot of times. So instead of him coming to me and offer to assist me, you know, he just stood there. So I got someone to help me, my brother-in-law actually, and by the time I picked her up when I looked, he was already gone. He left the bus, he left the key in the bus and everything, and he just fled the scene. The child is currently on life support at the Georgetown Public Hospital. Police said the driver eventually turned himself in to the Lagrange Police Station on Sunday night. Nikhil John, the reporting for MTV News Update. The Board of Directors of the Guyana National Broadcasting Agency is currently discussing the granting of television broadcasting license. To date, broadcast licenses for television have not been granted for 2018. Here is more from Yanis Abrams. Chairman of the Guyana National Broadcasting Authority, Leslie Sobers, announced by the end of March, discussions will be completed among board members and television licenses will be granted to broadcasters. Sobers, during an exclusive interview, explained to News Update that there is a process which the agency has to follow before issuing licenses. There are a number of things that have to be done, and before the board takes into account uh, what uh, licensees are going to be approved. And the process involves making the checks at the GNBA, the licensing department, and then those who have, uh, those who are fully compliant will be presented first to the committee, the licensing fees and legal committee. And then that committee would make further recommendations to the board for persons to be licensed and that process is ongoing. The chairman noted that broadcasters have indicated the zones where they prefer to operate in. Meanwhile, the GNBS plans to open the radio spectrum to accommodate more radio broadcasters. Sobers noted that talks will begin with the National Frequency Management Unit soon. The head of NFMU is an ex-officio member of the board of GNBA. So, to speak with NFMU is almost instant. The, the head of the NFMU is privy to the thinking of the board. So we would just have to set a time when we could sit down together and examine and using the, the electromagnetic spectrum map to see how things could be worked out. But uh, this is not anything that could be done overnight. 
According to the chairman, more persons have shown interest in acquiring radio licenses. In January, six broadcasters were given their radio licenses. Those who received licenses are CNS Incorporated, Brutal Group Incorporated, Pinnacle Communications Incorporated, National Media and Broadcasting Company Limited, Two Brothers Corporation, and Black and Sons Incorporated. Reporting for MTV's News Update, I am Yanis Abrams. While two estates are expected to be reopened, retrenched sugar workers are bound to resist as they will not agree to be reinstated unless the Ghana Agricultural and General Workers Union is involved. Here is more from Sandy Ramutar. The two estates will be reopened in an effort to attract potential investors, Skeldon and Enmore estates. President of the Guyana Agricultural and General Workers Union, GAU, Komal Chan says unless the union is placed at the forefront, there will be resistance from workers to be reinstated, Chan affirmed. The statement comes on the heels of temporary contractual agreements, which will be offered to some workers. What is worrying that they want to employ them on a contractual basis, that is either to have them engage under a contractor who provide laborers to do the different work or to have them engage in a one-on-one -on -one contract. Um, that will mean that they will try to suppress their conditions of work and pay levels. And that is a dangerous um, way to go. Chan believes the union should be given the chance to examine the circumstances for workers to be rehired. At this point, the union is uncertain whether they will be able to represent workers after privatization of the two estates. To, 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 to be represented by a union of their choice and not to have um, to, to engage as a contract worker is where many of their benefits will be ignored and they will pay them one straight pay, like they obtain incentive as they produce certain level of production. They have benefits of obtaining cutlass and files, tools. Those are benefits that came out of the agreement, transportation to the work site, whatever. They're all. If, I'm not know, I don't know if the company will, what they will retain, but certainly the workers um, because of their large number and because of so many problems that they will encounter every day mm -hmm. and disputes, they would require a representative body. $15 billion will be needed to ensure the two factories are fully operational before the rehiring process commences. Sandy Ramutar for MTV's News Update. More news to the head. Do stay tuned. Using state-of-the-art technology and highly trained professionals, let Optique Vision Care assist you with your eye care. Visit any of their four convenient locations at Times Square Mall on Grove Public Road, Helena No. 1 Mahaika, at the Giftland Mall, and our newest location at 350 East Street, North Cummingsburg, for added convenience. Their doors are open every day in the Giftland Mall, Monday through Saturday at Grove and East Street, every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday at Mahaika. Call them today, 266-0126-222-7333 or Shop is the absolute best place to shop if you're looking for quality products at the lowest prices in the widest possible variety. Choose from a vast array of custom-made quality wooden furniture in endless designs. 
electrical and household appliances, clothing, cell phones and accessories, and much, much more. Me get a super thing in store, guys. Me confused and a price load off. Pio's Peter Shop and Household Appliances, located at Anna Caterina, West Coast Demerara. Free delivery available. Credit? No, me know the secret. I like all you know the secret. Everybody know the secret. <laughs> What good is history if you never change? And what good is change if it doesn't make you better? At Valvoline, for the last 150 years, we've been doing just that. Relentlessly pursuing innovation for your engine. Backed up not just by science, but by the hands-on expertise that drives everything we do. Valvoline, 150 years under the hood. Wherever you travel in the world, GBTI Visa Travel Classic Card is instantly recognized and accepted in 145 countries and by over 25 million merchants worldwide. Use the GBTI Visa Travel Classic Card for travel, vacation and shopping. Check your balance online. Cash advances available to visitors. Ready cash from any ATM wherever you see the Visa Plus sign. Shop online with confidence and security with a safe pin-based card. GBTI Visa Classic Card can be reloaded on your behalf even while you're abroad. There are no monthly interest charges. Travel with more than just money and stay ahead of the game with GBTI Visa Travel Classic Card. GBTI, your friend, your bank. BB, is we going with so much Windex for clean windows? All them fancy curtains, it's not even Christmas. Hi, girl, mind your own business. I got big plans. But, BB, your house don't even have windows. Eh, hey, girl, you ain't think I know it ain't got windows? Yes, I know it ain't got windows. But look, Mokesh promised me that he carrying me down by the window factory when he come home at Eccles. It named Beeson. Like you know nothing, girl. Right now, everybody talking about how Beeson got the strongest windows. Plus, they got a deal right now. If you buy 10 windows, you get a free bathroom window. So I could mind your business instead of you minding me own. Beeson Windows and Doors. Serving Guyana with the highest quality standard windows for your home, office, or commercial building. You're still with News Update. Welcome back. More than 30 persons have been left homeless after a fire gutted several buildings at Pleasance. However, the government showed a more compassionate side and has rendered assistance to those affected. Here is more from Nikhil Jordan. On February 23, most persons jubilated downtown to the tunes played as Guyana observed its 48th Republic anniversary. However, for some families at Pleasant's East Coast Demerara, this was not the case. Their homes went up in flames. The fire engulfed an apartment complex that housed 10 families and also destroyed a nearby building. Firefighters were summoned to the scene. However, their efforts to save the building was futile. One person perished in the blaze. In the meantime, firefighters are still investigating the circumstances that led to the fire, which left more than 30 persons homeless. However, the government showed a more compassionate side to the victims. Coming to their aid was Minister within the Ministry of Natural Resources, Simona Brooms, who visited the affected persons to provide both mental and physical comfort. Immediately after things happened, we know that the um, RDC has kicked in and all your counselors trying to get bare cheat matras food place for you to be on the shorter term because you can't live on the street your government care but you have persons who is not living here or is not affected by the fire also trying to exploit that situation to come and to collect these things as if it is you know some an opportunity it's sad because in a situation like this we can't try to exploit it representatives of the regional and neighborhood democratic council also visited the affected persons. The council, in collaboration with the NDC, has set up a relief center. You could have been dead. You could have been dead. You could have been dead. We lose, we bed. We lose, we clothes. We lose, we books. But we got life. You understand? And that is, that is fundamental for us. So it means the sky is the limit. 
I want to encourage you women to stand with us and men who got children and so on. Keep your children together. Keep that hope and you know, get that peace in this time. Nikhil John, the reporting for MTV News Update. As Black History Month comes to an end, the Rastafarian community endured the scorching heat of the sun and marched 13 miles calling for the decriminalization of cannabis. Sandy Ramadar followed this report. The group was at the time referring to the criminalization of small quantities of the herb, which oftentimes placed persons behind bars. Marijuana is a psychoactive drug. It is the dry leaves of the cannabis plant. We sense the CARICOM country, Jamaica, decriminalized marijuana for the Rastafari community more so and for medical reasons. And I have seen the said law that gave I and I sister country, Jamaica, the rights of the citizens to practice the Rastafari culture. I and I seek the same rights in Guyana and demanding the rights this day from the government of Guyana for the prosecution of the Rastafari family. This march is to the, for the criminalization of the cannabis marijuana M. And it's been a great day. Give thanks to Kuala Mavi, Ailey Selassie. A nice day, beautiful day. And I give thanks that we all reach here safe at the square of the revolution. To acknowledge and recognize the Rastafari community as a religion and change the laws of the land that bar I and I from practicing we culture and putting we in prison for marijuana. We ask the government to review the narcotic law Decide and decriminalize marijuana by giving the Rastafari community the right to the sacramental use of the holy herb. The crowd believes the herb should be used for medical and recreational purposes. The walk was facilitated by the Rastafarian community from Boxton. The group assembled at Boxton and marched 13 miles to the square of the revolution. The march is expected to stop the stigma associated with the herb and educate persons about the benefits. In 2015, Jamaica has been announced to be the first country in the Caribbean to decriminalize small quantities of the herb. While the call has over time been brought in the limelight, the government has not yet placed the herb on the cards for discussions. Sandy Ramutar for MTV's News Update. The Office of the Auditor General will have to make its case before funding can be released by the government to scrutinize the oil and gas sector. Nicol John do with the details. Minister of State Joseph Harmon during a recent media briefing said the Office of the Auditor General will not be getting additional funding unless a budget is sent to the government. Minister Harmon said the Auditor General has been outspoken in recent times about the need for the audit office to scrutinize the upcoming oil and gas sector. Well, the audit general has to make his case. The audit, the audit office is part of the, um, the, the entities in this country over which there is no governmental interference. They are independent bodies and so on. And therefore, the audit general must know how he is to fashion his applications for funding for the work which he has to do. The minister noted that the Auditor General will have to fashion his budget for the government to release funds to the agency. Minister Harmon added that if the Auditor General has to audit the emerging sector, then his office must submit a proposal. And so all of these things, we're in a state now where we are moving from a, a, an economy which was based on a few items, and now we are moving to another type of economy. And therefore, all entities, including the Auditor General's office, must recognize that and make their applications at the appropriate time. According to the 2018 annual budget proposals of constitutional agencies, the Audit Office requested $844.4 million. However, that total was slashed to $783.8 million, a difference of $60.6 .6 million. Nikhil John, the reporting for MTV News Update. Coming up, Monrepo market tarmac vendors to be permanently removed by June 2018. And Guyana Norway Climate Agreement still stands, assures Minister Harmon.
optical service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens, available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. I am his and he is mine. In the end, it's him and I. styles simply different you can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a daily million ticket simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26 or you can buy a quick fit for your chance to win the daily millions purchase your tickets daily Monday through Saturday to get a chance to win one million dollars every day so feeling lucky then buy a daily millions ticket today remember a ticket today could make you rich today Relationship difficulties, depression, family challenges, grief and loss are some situations in our lives that can cause us to feel unlike ourselves. Are you facing any such situations? Have you considered counseling? It is time you talk to a professional counselor. Let's talk. Call the helpline on 223-0001. 223-0009 or 223-0818 to talk to a helpline counselor near you today. Your emotions are important. Introducing our new brand of all-weather fiberglass rocking chairs for complete relaxation. We supply quality, durable, and low-maintenance indoor and outdoor table and chairs for your patio, restaurants, cafeteria, reception area, and much more. So sit back and enjoy quality products from Fibertech with guaranteed factory warranty. This is MTV News Update. Thank you for staying tuned. Vendors plying their trade at the Monrepo Market Tarmac are expected to be permanently housed at two new locations in close proximity to the market. They will be removed for the East Coast Four Lane Expansion Project to continue. Find out more in this Sandy Ramatar report. As the East Coast Four Lane Expansion Project nears Monrepo, vendors occupying the market tarmac will be removed. So says Chairman of the Monrepo La Reconnaissance Neighborhood Democratic Council, Ayub Mohammed. He claims that the vendors will have to vacate the market tarmac by the first half of the year. I think the, um, the Monrepo, the, the annual one is $35 million. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Monrepo, I'm not too okay with that because we have received the. Um, Contract documents. The um, contractors are at this that they will be in that visit here on um, June. So before then, I guess it will have to be um, respected. Given the vast amount of vendors, an additional space has been allocated to house them. Ayub says the 300 plus vendors will be housed at Monrepo and Annadale. Coupled with this, the vendors were given the opportunity to peruse the locations to ensure they are comfortable with the placement. Ayub says rehabilitation work is presently being conducted at the location site in Monrepo. Following funding and contractual agreements, construction will commence at the location in Annadale. Vendors who ply their trade on the tarmac were given a two months notice alerting them of the removal. Sandy Ramotar for MTV's News Update. Minister of State Joseph Harmon revealed that the government is actively working to ensure that the agreement between the Kingdom of Norway and Guyana continues to stand regardless of Guyana's approaching oil and gas sector. The Shauna Gomes can just follow this story. 
Guyana and Norway's partnership on climate and forest was initiated in 2009. The two countries agreed to work together to provide the world with a working example of how partnerships between developed and developing countries can save the world's tropical forests. Guyana at that time crafted a national low-carbon development strategy which was designed to keep deforestation at a minimum and to transform its entire energy sector to clean and renewable energy. Guyana has signed on to receive as much as U.S. $250 million from Norway. Presently, as Guyana heads towards a future where oil and gas may play an important role in building its economy, the government has been tasked with a monumental task to protect the country's natural environment. Earlier in January, the Kingdom of Norway daringly rejected Guyana's Oil for Development Program, OFD. Minister of Natural Resources Raphael Trotman revealed that it was due to the fact that Norway is afraid Guyana may use its natural gas, which may affect the call for forestry conservation. Minister Harmon assured that work is actively being done as regarded terms and agreement between the two nations. The question of Norway, yes, in fact, um, I did write to the... Um, environment minister in Norway and got a response to acknowledge the, the, um, the letter. But there are issues in the contract which we are working um, and they do not, in, in my view, prevent us from enjoying the benefits under the contract. You recall through the course of this week that um, Mr. James Singh from the Ghana Forestry Commission identified certain performance requirements under the Norway agreement which we were performing and for which there is also benefits accruing to the state of Guyana. So that the, with respect to the terms and conditions of the agreement itself, we are still working on those things and there is still an active engagement. In addition to addressing varying issues relating to the agreement, Guyana's Green State Development Strategy, according to Minister Harmon, which remains one of President David Granger's top priorities, will also be taken into consideration. We are still working on those things and there is still an active engagement on both sides. Um, I think the question was asked about the extent to which the contract will be uh, the agreement will, be, will going, be going forward, what we're going to do about that. Certainly those are issues which um, we are in, intend to address. The president had made, clear, made it clear that he uh, intends to engage with the Kingdom of Norway as well, and so that we ensure that we have this, this agreement with Norway and the fact of our Green State Development Strategy being placed at the highest priority levels. So with respect to... Reporting for MTV News Update, Lashona Gomes, Cornelius. Still ahead, Marshall Manny 2018 was successful, claims Dr. Norton. Everything is connected, our planet, our water sources, including the water we drink. Sometimes harmful bacteria end up in our streams and canals. Although treated, the risks are high. You can prevent this pollution and contamination by maintaining your septic tank and grease traps. Call the experts at Puran Brothers Disposal Incorporated on 264-1239 or 603-5050. Keeping it clean is what we do best. Hey, you have a growing flesh there, and there too, and there is another one. Those ugly and annoying growing flesh, like a plague, ignoring them, and before you know, you have them everywhere. SlimJet presenting Coliomac, the most effective growing flesh and wall remover. Painlessly remove ugly growing flesh is the quick and effective way. Get soft, smooth, growing flesh-free skin, guarantee. Just apply Colomac twice a day and the growing flesh just dry up and fall off. Easy, quick and painless. Stop suffering and feeling embarrassed. Remove those ugly growing flesh with Colomac. Only at SlimJet, City Mall, second floor.
As a mechanic for 10 years, I believe that Ultra Lubricant is the best oil for your vehicle. It is non-stop protection for your engine and works even when it is off. It gives a cleaner engine and exhaust. Increased fuel efficiency, battery drain, and guaranteed engine protection at startup. Use Ultra Lubricant. Hi, I'm Irfan Kalamadin, GMRSC Group 4 race car driver, and I use Ultra Lubricant. Now located at Lot 4Q Peters Hall East Bank Demerara. Telephone 265-7311 or 233-5955. Need a vacation? Thinking of leaving the country? Then visit Millennia Travel Agency and book your flight today. We are located on the top floor in the City Mall at Camp and Region Streets. We book flights for Caribbean Airlines, Suriname Airways, Copa Airlines, Liat, Fly Jamaica and all major airlines. We also book hotel and cruise packages. Visit or call us on 225-7354 for more information. Millennia Travel Agency, for all your travel needs. Introducing the new Softex Toilet Tissue, now available across Guyana. Softex is silky smooth because it's made from virgin pulp. Softex is soft and gentle to every touch. Even babies can use it. Manufactured and distributed by BPATS Paper Manufacturing, Eccles Industrial Site. The, the choice, choice is clear. clear. Two soft text toilet tissue, super soft and super durable, guaranteed. Located at Gift Land, Gift Post, Nigel's, and Andrew's Supermarket. Supported by AJTV, Department of Social Cohesion, Culture, Youth, and Sport. You're tuned to News Update. Welcome back. Marshall Manny 2018 has been deemed successful, according to Minister of Social Cohesion with Responsibilities of Culture, Dr. George Norton. Dr. Norton claims a host of things had to be changed for the success of this year's MASH. Here is Yanis Abrams. The Minister of Social Cohesion, Dr. George Norton, believes that the 2018 MASH Manny Costume and Food Parade was great, with a low budget of $80 million. Minister Norton stated from previous records of the float parade, he believes that there were changes that need to be made. Dr. Norton stated he was not disappointed at the MASH activities. It was an entirely new team. What we had was probably a lesser budget to deal with. But we were committed to running off MASH and doing so at a high standard. That is not necessarily the highest. We would expect much to improve and to be far better than this which we had, but at least we didn't want to fall below wherever it was before. And um, I don't want to um, blow my own trumpet, but there aren't too much things that I am dissatisfied with. Even though the two-mile walk from Camp Street and Thomas Land was long, Norton said the route is not expected to change for 2019. When News Update asked the minister about his take on the upcoming Guyana Carnival, Dr. Norton mentioned once Guyana is benefiting from the tourists, he has no problem. If um, that will help the business community in Guyana, if it will help persons to earn a decent living, I mean, an, uh, an honest, honest uh, uh, living, then I don't have a problem with that. What I don't want, however, and I will not support, is for us to bring the idea that in Guyana you can do whatever you want to do. Mashaman 2018 was celebrated under the theme Let's Cooperate and Celebrate Republic 48, where many families were seen picketing along the old church street route and bands in their colorful costumes. Reporting for MTV's News Update, I am Yanis Abrams. 
Rehabilitation work on St. Rosa's High School has not yet started. The wooden building facing Church Street is to be torn down and replaced with a modern facility. Here is more from Kippany Jordan. Rehabilitation works on St. Rosa's High School is yet to begin, despite it was scheduled to begin in December 2017. A team from the Trinidadian architecture and planning firm, Bino Rowe and Wiltshire, the Ministry of Education, contractors and the school's board, met and discussed strategies surrounding the reconstruction of the school since October last. The students are still being housed in the reading rooms and science labs that were transformed into classrooms after they had to evacuate the wooden building facing Church Street. Thus far, a design has been selected for the school, however, a contract is yet to be selected to start construction. The chairman of the board of the St. Rose's High School, Kenrick Thomas, explains more in this interview conducted over the phone. The appointment of the, sorry, the selection of the demolition contractor took a little longer than we thought. We, you know, we, we did our part, but other parts that didn't involve us were a bit slow to turn around. So that appointment only really occurred really during late January. So we sort of know who, who, who that contractor is. And, um, and, and that contract is different from the contractor who will be doing the actual construction as well, mm -hmm. which is a whole different part of the phase. But um, in terms of the demolition, as far as I know, or as far as I'm aware, um, we should be planning for that to occur during one of the upcoming breaks. Kippany Jordan reporting for MTV's News Update. Early on Monday, the JCA Trading Incorporated, formerly known as Automotive Power Products, concluded its month-long Mastermani promotion, which revealed the name of one lucky winner of brand new Jialing Power Trip motorcycle. Deshana Gomes Cornelius has more. The sole distributor of Haju, Jialing, and Eagle Motorcycles and Products in Guyana, JCA Trading Incorporated continues to provide exciting opportunities for its customers. The company's Mastermani promotion, which had been ongoing since mid-January, has seen over a thousand customers participating. A customer had to spend $5,000 or more to enter into the promotion. Public Relations Officer of JCA Trading Incorporated, Shivani Sugrim, who pulled the name of one lucky customer, explained what the promotion entailed. Uh, JCA Trading Inc. is known as, you know, as, as everybody knows it as Jialin. But basically, we carry Jialin Eagle Haju products. We're the official distributors. So the winner of a brand new Power Trip motorcycle goes to Ronald Miles uh, at 14 Public Road, Rumzelt. Yeah, that's it. So Ronald, congratulations from JCA Trading Inc. And we will see you soon with your brand new motorcycle. In addition to the JCA Trading Incorporated, Marix and Company Limited, the authorized distributor for Honda products in Guyana, also hosted its Mastermani promotional drawing. The customer won a Honda Wave 100 motorcycle. For the Marix and Company Mastermani promotion, customers who would have spent $10,000 and over received coupons to enter. So uh, the winner of our brand new Honda Wave 100 is Kensford David. Congratulations. Uh, we hope to see you soon and, you know, with your new bike and all. So congrats from Marks and Company Limited. Reporting for MTV News Update, LaShawna Gomes, Cornelius. Stay tuned for regional and international news, court roundup, as well as at the Guyana Stock Exchange. In today's fast-paced world of modern finance, with its many options and opportunities, you will need good advice and help getting value for your money. Hand in Hand Trust is the way to go, from owning your own home or business, with our residential and commercial mortgages, we'll help you realize your dreams. You can also access investment deposit accounts, share brokerage services, personal trust, thrift and pension plan trusteeship, property management, investment portfolio management, safe deposit boxes, the convenience of our Cambio, Western Union and Bill Express services. Hand in Hand Trust, 
for financial services and more. Helping you get the most out of your financial resources and your life. As the Ministry of Social Protection continues to improve the transparency, accountability, and service delivery of the Senior Citizens Pension System, we're kindly advising all beneficiaries of the Senior Citizens Pension to contact their nearest GCOM office and make an application to update their information to the nine-digit National Identification Card. As of March 1, 2018, the Ministry of Social Protection will not be facilitating the processing of senior citizens' pension vouchers without the presentation of the nine-digit identification card. We thank you for your cooperation. This is a message from the Ministry of Social Protection. Safco Bollywood from Suriname is now open in Guyana at 169 Charlotte Street, opposite Chetty Jack and Dental. Beautiful designer Choli, bridal Lacha, long Churidar, a Yorvidic cosmetic cream, sandal, accessory and much more. Visit Safco Bollywood for the best deals. Telephone number 6929915 or head down to 169 Charlotte Street, opposite Chetty Jack and Dental. Did you know almost one-third of deaths in Guyana are heart-related? Chronic inflammation is the root cause of atherosclerosis, the process that leads to cholesterol-clogged arteries. You can now lower high triglyceride levels with Omega XL and reduce the dangerous inflammation that causes these problems. So to ensure a healthy heart and reduce your risk of disease, get your Omega XL today. Live long, stay strong with Omega XL. Mark? I'm in the kitchen. <gasps> this is amazing! I love your tiles. Make an impression with the finest tiles imported by Lens. Lens has a huge selection of various tiles for your wall, floor, and pool needs. All of our tiles are of grade A quality, which are the highest quality tile rated. That means they last longer and are less likely to damage or crack. We're the sole distributor for many reputable companies around the world. At Lens, we have special deals for contractors and bulk shoppers. Shop at any of our three locations to get the best in tiles. Lens, our product, your creation. The circle starts with solid support and a smile. This is real life. With its ups and its downs, this is going the extra mile. And the feeling you get when you can help someone along their journey. Through the twists and turns, we're here. This is Western Union, making sure your support reaches its destination. This is Western Union, moving money for better. Here is what went down at the Georgia Magistrates Court on February 26. A 30-year-old man was on Monday charged for raping his six-year-old female relative, Val Smith, appeared before Magistrate Sherdell Isaacs at the Georgetown Magistrates Court and was not required to plead to the indictable charge. Particulars of the charge alleged that Smith, on July 28, 2012, at a village in the Northwest District, engaged in sexual activity with a child under the age of 16. He was released on $200,000 bail and the matter was adjourned until March 5. Meanwhile, two Indian nationals were on Monday charged before Principal Magistrate Judy Latchman for forging a fake Canadian visa on their passports. Pankaj Kumar Patel, 34, and his wife, Rojani Ben Patel, 32, were separately charged with the offense, which alleged that, on February 22, at Chetty Jagan International Airport, CJIA, they uttered to Nerissa Primo, a customer service representative of Fly Jamaica, a forged Canadian visa 
on their Republic of India passport. The husband and wife pleaded guilty to the charge and were fined $100,000 or default 12 months in jail. And finally, two welders were on Monday placed before Magistrate Judy Latchman for changing chassis numbers on vehicles that were allegedly stolen. Nigel Chung, 43, and his son, Ricky Chung, 23, of Coverden East Bank Demerara, appeared before Magistrate Judy Latchman on two counts of fraudulent imitation of an identification mark of a registered motor vehicle. Particulars of the first charge allege that the duo between August 17, 2017 and February 13, 2018 fraudulently used chassis plate number 12131-5388 on a registered Toyota Spacio motor vehicle knowing same to be false. It is further alleged that the men between December 9, 2017 and February 10, 2018 used another chassis plate number on a Toyota Allion motor vehicle. Police prosecutor Arvin Moore made no objection to bail. Moore pointed out that the two defendants were held by police during an investigation into an alleged carjacking ring operating in the area. Two vehicles were seized at the Chung's covered in home. The vehicles were taken to the Breakdown Police Station where their owners came and identified the vehicles which were stolen from them. Moore further added that the chassis number plates from the vehicles were removed. The magistrate released the Chung's on $200,000 bail each and adjourned the matter until March 12. Kippany Journal reporting for MTV's News Update. The Guyana Stock Exchange closing prices for trading session Let's turn our attention to the Demer Harbour Bridge schedule. Well, that's all we have for your newscast tonight, but before we go, here's a recap of our major headlines. Child battling for her life after being hit by a speeding car. Television broadcast licenses to be granted in March. If God was not involved, workers will not return to the estates. And in court, man released on $200,000 bail after being charged for raping a six-year-old child. The newscast can be viewed online on MTV's Facebook page and also on our YouTube channel. The news will be rebroadcast later tonight at 23 hours and at 6 hours on Tuesday, February 27. On behalf of our news and technical teams, I am Ashley Scotland, thanking you for watching. Good night.